Very espresso y. I go in for some fruit. See what we can get. Just a pineapple. See Pinocchio because he's Italian. Yeah. <laughs> kind of a light breakfast just to kind of start things off. Don't want to eat too much because then we're gonna feel tired at the very beginning of the day. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have more later. <laughs> So join us as we eat some food, we go on some attractions, uh, share thoughts and reactions, and just make a whole day out of Disneyland Paris. <laughs>
Yes. Hey, pal. Good to see you. What do you think? It's the best day of <laughs> Okay, we're gonna get the pictures. Yeah, yeah, okay, let's go. Now Peter Pan. Look at the town, the city down below, see? Was it the hot dogs? Hot dog was great. Tasted great. I got the classic hot dog and uh, it's perfect. Yeah. Exactly what perfect thing to snack on. Get a little uh, like midday meal. Perfect place to come. The line wasn't too long. Um, no, it was great. You 
had which one last time? Uh, yeah. the, with the cheddar cheese. All right. Bacon. All right. Okay. It was good. Very nice, delicious. I love this place. And even like all the pictures around here. Yeah. There's a really cool spot. This is a back corridor behind Main Street. As you can see, it's just gorgeous. this year so you can uh, escape the bad weather when it's snowing or when it's raining or when it's just too hot. There's not really any AC because uh, both entryways are kind of open and exposed so all the cold air just kind of seep out but it's nice to kind of just come in here and see some of the exhibits. It also gives you access to all the shops along Main Street. So if you want to shop, if you don't want to go outside, you can come in here and do all of it inside. Just come to your right or left of Main Street, you'll see Liberty Arcade on the left side. It's going to bring you all the way down, completely enclosed, and you can do all the shopping you want in every store on Main Street. Here is Discovery Arcade. This is the opposite corridor. The fact that the bake shop is in here really kind of heightens the, the smell aspect of it. it smells really good jewelry a whole slew of, of different shops and things to see even an ATM food options everything all right let's get a good look at Main Street here so of course we have Main Street itself we have a kind of center plaza area with a gazebo we have City Hall to the left. We've got the Main Street Transportation Co. on the right. We've got the arcade, which brings you back behind Main Street over there on your right. And of course, there's the other one on the left over there, Liberty Arcade. We've got all the shops down here on Main Street, but the railroad station that comes, you can walk underneath it and enter the park. Uh, bathrooms to your right. And uh, I'm sure there's probably some more bathrooms somewhere over in this general vicinity. Uh, and then the, the dentist and Alessandra. Hello. And of course, the castle right down the center, along with all these beautiful shops that will go in in a little bit. Now you'll notice that in Disneyland Paris, they don't have Walt and Mickey right in front of the castle. Instead, they have this big walkway. Usually, like in Florida or California, you'd find the Walt and Mickey statue right here, but we'll find that in Walt Disney Studios, which is the other park right next door. I'm not sure why they don't have it here, but for some reason, that's just the way it is. Hyperspace Mountain? Yeah. Let's go. Probably the most beautiful Tomorrowland I've seen. Just the most unique, I think. We have the beautiful Nautilus here. Unfortunately, this ride is not operating right now, but uh, there's still so much to see. Do. Of course, you got the Star Wars theme on Space Mountain here, along with the Jules Verne theming of the mountain itself and the general land and surrounding area. Gorgeous theming. Really cool. Yeah. Space Mountain. 30 minutes. Less than 30 minutes for Space Mountain on a busy day. That's really good. Please be careful. 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 Please be care
Keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs. <laughs> All right, so a couple of things I've noticed about this park is that the wait times are really good. Today's a pretty busy day, but the highest wait time is like 80 minutes, and that's just to meet Mickey Mouse. So, what, for Space Mountain, there's 35 minutes. Honor Mansion was 20 minutes. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean was 10 minutes. Dumbo was probably around 25 minutes. So, I mean, the fact that you can get on Pirates of the Caribbean for 15 minutes, I mean, that's pretty good. There have been a number of rides that have been closed down while we've been here, like uh, Small World, and just rides that go down due to the heat. But the fact that the wait times are usually so low makes it kind of, you know, kind of evens out the deal a little bit. If you're looking for water, as soon as you get inside Walt Disney Studios, to your right by the toilets is uh, two water fountains. Vous ouvrez cette porte avec la clé de l'imagination. Au-delà, c'est une autre dimension. Une dimension sonore. Une dimension visuelle. Une dimension de l'esprit. Vous pénétrez dans le domaine de l'ombre et de la matière. Des objets et des idées. Vous venez d'entrer dans... La quatrième dimension. Hollywood, 1939. Dans le strass et les paillettes d'un Hollywood à l'apogée de son âge d'or, le Hollywood Tower Hotel était une star à part entière. Le lieu de rencontre de l'élite du show business. Mais quelque chose allait se produire qui allait changer tout ça. semblable à celle dont nous venons d'être témoins. L'histoire de ce soir dans la quatrième dimension est quelque peu unique et réclame une introduction d'un autre ordre. Vous aurez sûrement reconnu ce qu'on appelle un ascenseur de service. Il est toujours en état de marche et il vous attend. Nous vous invitons, si vous l'osez, à l'emprunter, car dans l'épisode de ce soir, vous êtes la vedette et cet ascenseur conduit directement dans la quatrième dimension. How do you feel? Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Orgé numéro 4 pour le number 4, allons-y. Il faudra bien mettre tous vos sacs par terre dans l'ascenseur. Here we go.
Yes. That's our favorite ride. Let's see. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Yeah. They also have Goofy down here. I think this one is cool though. I like it. Yeah. Maybe we'll come back and get Nana. Yeah. In the meantime. In the meantime, let's just get. So we're gonna get this one, right? Yes. Okay. Let's go. So we're back in Disneyland now. Tower of Terror was a lot of fun. We might go back there later. Back in Disneyland, we're gonna hit up Arch of the Caribbean, then Big Thunder Mountain, and then Haunted Mansion or Phantom Manor. I, at long last, Pirates of the Caribbean. Have you done this ride before? Yeah. We've done it two times. Two times. I don't think we've done it three times, right? Three? Or just two? Two. Just two? This is the third one. Because it's Parts of the Caribbean is great. Always a classic. This one's a little bit short. The one in California is by far the best out of any the three parks that I've been to, Florida, California, and now Paris. So this one's great. It's got a few things that the ones, the other ones don't. A couple neat little kind of scenes, I guess. But uh, it was fun. It's a good ride to go into to cool down. The wait was 15 minutes. It's been between 30 and 15 minutes all day long, so that's pretty cool. Let's see if anything happens. Trying to do something. Oh, there's some steam coming out. No genie, though. That's cool that it does something, though. You want to do this one all day, haven't you? Yes, I really was waiting for it. Even yesterday, we wanted to do it. It was close. This is why I think I was the best picture around in any Disney park. Find out why.
Roger. Always fun stopping at the shooting gallery and uh, taking some shots. Yeah, California. I used to do that when I was little, and uh, I love the one in Frontierland in California. Um, this one's really similar, but they have like uh, characters. And instead of it being Boot Hill, it's more like uh, like a cartoon, Toontown version of the one they have in California. So that's really cool. And they got a few targets, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what teach me how to shoot. Yeah, I'm responsible for teaching her how to shoot a gun, so. <laughs> so this is a really special experience, right? Yes. This is one of the most appraised rides in the park. And I probably said that a lot today, but I really mean it this time. This is the Disneyland Paris version of the Haunted Mansion. And it's just decked out with tons of details, like this little gazebo right here. Getting some... Hollywood Tower Hotel vibes right now. Beautiful, uh, like, uh, pathways, statue gardens, little sheltered queue area. Hello. Very spooky. It's spooky, right? I like when we can the news because it's so Yeah, hot. yeah. Yesterday we went and there were too many people. Yesterday? Yeah. Yeah. And we couldn't hear the music, it was a bit sad. Right. But with the music, the vibe is so good. It's so nice when you can walk through and just enjoy a nice little pace. Come through, swerve your way around these little barriers, <laughs> and just walk right up to the house. Even a spot for drinking fountains right there. You can refill your water bottles. We got locked out. Let's see if these actually work. No. Do you want to open the door? Wow. See, they don't have this at the at the Disneyland one in California or Florida porch like this overlooking everything. This is unique to this park. Phantom Manor overlooking the entire western village here, including Big Thunder Mountain. All of the Thunder Mesa, as it's known here. Uh -oh. 
Come on. He's angry. <laughs> oh my goodness, here we are again. <laughs> For the million time. Yeah, this is that our fourth time? Fourth? Five? Four. Yeah, four, yeah. The light is going to get really low, so just bear with me. Oh, that never gets old. It's so when the walls first start stretching, it's kind of jarring. And she's trying to meet you. But beware the phantom. Here we go. All empty now. And there's really nothing stopping you from just wandering in here. It is much to see. Staying back. So look alive and stay about to get really dark, so just bear with me here.
the Haunted Mansion in California and in Florida is kind of like a, the feeling is more classic. It's not too centralized on one thing. This is definitely very centralized on a Western theme to go along with Thunder Mesa, which is kind of general general area. Uh, and there's definitely a story to the ride and the house and the characters in the ride. Something that the ride uh, would be something of the attractions in California and Florida really don't kind of have. They have characters, but it's not kind of centralized around one main idea. So. This is just different. It's so quiet and peaceful. There's plenty of areas around here to just relax and uh, just sitting in the grass. You could take a nap up here, sleep for hours, and no one wouldn't see anything. Perfect. Perfect thing to do at five o'clock in the afternoon. Here we are again, <laughs> Hyperspace Mountain, baby. It's got a front row seat this time, like in the very front. Our chariot awaits. If you ask me which coaster has a better, or which Space Mountain has a better thrill factor between, let's say, Florida, and Paris, I think it's definitely Paris. There's so many more lights, sounds, you have the music, you have the, the Star Destroyers, X-Wings, everything. Just makes it so much more um, interesting. And kind of just, it just really knocks the wind out of you in a really good way. Not to mention the beautiful, the beautiful, facade of it. It's just, it's just next level. Disneyland Paris opened in the early 90s at the very height of the kind of Michael Eisner and Frank Wells renaissance and there's definitely traces of kind of an older Disney here and one of those aspects, one of those elements would be Disney Store which of course had all of the uh, characters and things like that hanging from the ceiling and on the walls and just you know the, the character sculptures which you could find in Disney stores, which you could find in many major American malls across the country. In Disneyland Paris, they still have kind of these characters all over their shops, animatronics of like Mickey, and Goofy. So we're gonna see some of those right now. It seems like it's kind of like a time capsule, some of these stores. And so we're gonna take a look through and just see what we can find. Because there's some really kind of cool 90s Disney nostalgia. Our first stop is here at the Disney store and Disney Village. As you can see, all the neon and the characters. It's very, very 90s out here. Here is where things get very retro. Look at all this. If you can't tell me, this isn't something out of 1993. And it's moving around and everything. Look at that. DuckTales. This is definitely something out of the uh... Up here there's Captain Hook battling Peter Pan, Tiger Lily and Tinkerbell. Up there is Pluto, the Doctor, so what's his name? I forget. Up there, you've got Donald Duck with Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Look at this. Launchpad McQuack. This thing is just huge. Winnie the Pooh. I love stuff like this. character over here. That's super cool. There's Goofy up there. Player Bell Cow. These things are really old. Like 1995 or can't imagine how dusty those things are.
Here we have Pluto and Mickey in the big hot air balloon. This is so cool. It's the big centerpiece of the store. And if we walk around, we can see on the other side is Minnie. How nice is that? Got another character sighting here. Here's uh, Cruella de Vil. Kind of see her in there. Yeah, this is the real deal. Look at this. These are super cool. And they're very well taken care of. Let's see a loop around here. You can see Goofy. That's really neat. That's great. That old hot air balloon too. Cool. Here's a smart thing you can do. Go to Five Guys Burgers and Fries, which is just right out of side of the park in Disney Village. Bring them inside. Just get a big bag of fries, bring them inside the park, and snack away. This is better than any snack you can find inside the park. And probably cheaper too. Man, it's so good. And they're good even when they're cold. Let's take a second to highlight this beautiful castle. It really is gorgeous. And the waterfall over there in the back. These fairy tale type trees. Really is nice. All right, we back. I have to do uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Oh. Oh, you holding out? Huh? You holding out? You okay? Yeah. <laughs> My back is killing me. We gotta keep going because there's fireworks tonight and we don't want to miss them. Gotta feed Donald Duck's cousins. Here is a pathway we have not been down before. It's the first time. We've been in Discovery Land before, but this is our first time taking this walk route. This really doesn't seem like a, a Disney park anymore. Kind of stepping away from all the attractions and show buildings and crossing from Fantasyland over into Tomorrowland or I guess what it's called here, Discovery Land. We're coming up right next to Videopolis, which is right next to Hyperspace Mountain and Buzz Lightyear. And what we're gonna do right now is Star Tours, because we have not done that yet. I actually forgot it existed here. So we're gonna go do that right now. <laughs> Hi, 3PO. Hi. Hi. Wow. Hyperspace Mountain again. And this time at night. Look at this. We have the lagoon out here with the Nautilus. Just floating swiftly with the sound of the water. Look how beautiful this is. The Nautilus. The spotlights are out. The lights are on. Autopia is running for the first time today. This has apparently been too hot and they can't run or something. There they are. There they go. The line is pretty big. Pretty big. There's Hyperspace Mountain. There's the castle. There's Orbitron. Behind it, Buzz Lightyear. And over here 
is the Jules Verne Hyperion and the uh, Videopolis. Wow. Dear friends, in just a few minutes, join us for Disney Delight. Thank you. Well, folks, that about wraps up our day at Disney. Well, one of our days at Disney. What'd you think? It was really beautiful. Today we have been really all day from 8 to yeah. the end. Yeah, really. We were here from before even park opening until... <laughs> what's the time is now? Almost 11 o'clock. Or 11 o'clock. 11.15, so we were truly here the entire day. All we've got to say now is good day, good evening, and a good night.